Hi guys, it's Katrina. From an electrical bell ringing since 1840 to the longest watched drip in history, here are 10 of the longest experiments to ever take place. Number 10, the Framingham Heart Study. The Framingham Heart Study is a joint project between Boston University and the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. Starting in 1948 and still running to this day, its purpose has been to identify the common causes and characteristics that contribute to cardiovascular disease. This has been done by following the development of the disease in three generations of participants. The first test group, known as the original cohort, was made up of 5,209 men and women between the ages of 30 and 62 that lived in the town of Framingham, Massachusetts. At that time, none had shown any signs of cardiovascular problems. Since then, further participants have been added in five different waves, making it one of the longest-running experiments ever. The study has been instrumental in understanding lifestyles and events that impact the health of the heart and cardiovascular system, and has informed treatments and policies around the globe. What we now know about cholesterol, blood triglyceride, blood pressure, age, and social effects on conditions have all stemmed from learning from this study, and it continues to show new factors involved with heart disease, as well as giving insight into other conditions, such as dementia. Number nine, the Park Grass Experiment. The Park Grass Experiment began in 1856 with the intent to discover the effects that using various fertilizers and farming techniques would have on hay yields from a field. The field itself is at the Rothamsted Experimental Station in Hertfordshire, England, and has proved to be an invaluable resource in learning about biodiversity. The parkland used has been in permanent pasture for more than 100 years prior and has been treated in five different stages since it began. These involved trialing different types of fertilizers and harvesting techniques and has revealed a lot about the relationship between crop yields and the way a field is treated. It is because of the park grass experiment that an understanding has developed about how pH, biomass, and species richness are related, how competition between plants influences how they are affected by climatic factors, and how other trials vastly underestimated the effects that certain fertilizers were having on soil quality. All in all, a bunch of stuff. Furthermore, the archive of soil samples that have been accrued from this experiment is used to measure the changes in atmospheric pollution over a long period, including giving researchers the ability to measure the effects of nuclear incidents that have occurred far away. And now for some space exploration. But first, coming up, scientists seem to have figured out the secret to a long life. Can you guess what it is? Leave your answer in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Number 8. Voyager 1 While the Voyager mission hasn't been running as long as most of the others on this list, it has easily traveled much greater distances and will keep on going as a representative of our planet far beyond our own lifetimes. Launched on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 was sent to the farthest reaches of our solar system. At the time, it was cutting-edge technology, but the success of the mission is even more impressive when you find out that the iPhones of today have processors that are more than 200,000 times faster and with 250,000 times more storage capacity than what was on board the probe. On its journey, Voyager 1 has conducted a flyby of Jupiter, Saturn, and Titan, one of Saturn's moons, and since then it has been hurtling away from our Sun at more than 37,000 miles per hour. In 2012, it became the first man-made object to leave the heliopause, which is the boundary between the sun's solar winds and the interstellar medium. And still, it continues. NASA remains in communication with the probe and in 2017 showed that its thrusters are operational. The onboard radioisotope thermoelectric generators continue to provide it with enough power to send data and are expected to do so well into the next decade meaning there's still plenty more that Voyager 1 can tell us before it quietly continues further out into the unknown. Number 7. The E. coli Long-Term Evolution Experiment For the past 30 years, scientists have been following the evolutionary changes of E. coli across more than 68,000 generations. If the same experiment were to be conducted on humans, it would take more than 1 million years to get this far. Bacteria, of course, reproduce at a much faster rate than we do, and it's an opportunity to look at how evolution works and understand long-term changes in all species. It was initially thought that the process of evolution leads to a peak level of fitness in any environment. In other words, there's an optimum version of everything in controlled conditions that, given long enough, evolution will lead towards. The E. coli long-term evolution experiment has, however, completely disproved this. 
Although the rate of evolution has definitely slowed down, it still continues. They now think that there's no such thing as peak fitness. And no matter how fit and adapted to an environment an organism is, there's still plenty more adaptation that can take place. Number 6. The William James Beale Germination Experiment One of the world's oldest experiments is called the William James Beale Germination Experiment. It began in 1879 and continues to this day. The purpose of this test was essentially to see how long seeds could be stored and still be able to grow when exposed to the right conditions. The seeds, in particular, were types of weeds because at the time, no weed killers had been developed and farmers wanted to know just how pervasive these plants were. Beale buried 20 bottles with each one containing 50 seeds each of 23 different types of plants. Originally, a bottle was meant to be dug up every five years, but now it's only done every 20 years to make the experiment last longer, with the last one due to be unearthed in 2100. Once retrieved, all the seeds are planted and observed to see which ones successfully grow. The most successful of the seeds have been the Verbascum blataria, or moth mullein, which is common throughout the U.S. In 2000, from the last bottle that was tested, 23 of the 50 seeds germinated. It's not so successful for the other species, though. In a far distant second place was the Malva rotundifolia, which only saw one seed successfully germinate. The next bottle will be tested in late 2020, and for the researchers now overlooking the project, it'll be fascinating to see which ones successfully grow this time. Number 5. The Beverly Clock The Beverly Clock is an unusual experiment in the University of Otago in Dunedin, New Zealand. It was created in 1864 by Arthur Beverly and is unlike other clocks because, despite running for all this time, it has never once been wound. This is seen as an attempt to become as close as possible to a perpetual motion machine. It uses atmospheric pressure and changes in temperature to power itself and is built around an airtight box that expands and contracts throughout the day. This movement pushes on a diaphragm which raises a one pound weight which in turn descends and powers the clock. It takes only a change of six degrees Celsius to lift the weight an inch and allow the clock to work for a day. And it has done this virtually uninterrupted for more than 150 years. On rare occasions, the temperature or pressure haven't changed enough, and the mechanism stops. But as soon as conditions change again, it whirs back into action. Number 4. The Oxford Electric Bell The Oxford Electric Bell is on display at the Clarendon Laboratory at Oxford University, where it has been since it was switched on in 1840. The bell still rings and has done so throughout its life, powered by a battery. The current makes a small metal ball oscillate between the two bells of the device, which create a constant noise although you'd be hard-pressed to hear it because it's kept within a thick wall of glass. It's believed the bell has rung about 10 billion times so far, and the device holds the record for the most durable battery. The problem is, no one is entirely sure how the battery has managed to last so long, or whether this was even intended to be an experiment in the first place. Researchers don't want to look inside because of the risk of breaking the bell, so can only theorize about how it works. It's thought that the ringing mechanism requires incredible small charges, so it doesn't drain much from the battery at all, but the battery itself is a mystery. It's believed to be much like other batteries of the time, but until someone risks opening the casing, we won't know for sure. Number 3. The Grant Study The Grant Study, which was also known as the Harvard Study of Adult Development, began in 1938. Scientists wanted to track the health of a test group and hoped they would find out the secret to living a healthy and happy life. If you haven't guessed yet what it is, leave your answer below. This is the experiment that has your answer. They followed a group of 268 Harvard sophomores, including President John F. Kennedy, for the rest of their lives and collected huge quantities of data about their physical and mental health. Of the original group, 19 are still alive, all in their 90s, but the number of participants has since been expanded. They included the men's children, 456 Boston residents and the wives of all participants. While they have found surprising links between various factors and successful lives and proved that other aspects have no impact, the most fruitful lesson the study has learned is, according to one of the researchers, that our relationships and how happy we are in our relationships have a powerful influence on our health. Close relationships, not money or fame, is the secret to happiness, a conclusion that we could all do well to listen to. Number 2. The Pitch Drop Experiment The Pitch Drop Experiment is one of the longest and slowest experiments ever devised. Based in the University of Queensland, Australia, it began in 1930 and was designed to capture blobs of pitch as they dripped down from the main bulk. 
The intent was to prove that although pitch appears to be solid and even shatters when hit with a hammer, it's actually an extremely viscous liquid. Since it started, the blobs have dropped only nine times. It's so rare that the original custodian of the experiment never saw it happen. He missed the event three times, once by a day, another time by five minutes, and another because a webcam battery died. It has taken the ninth drop 13 years to fall and collide with the eighth drop that remains in the beaker. And you can watch a time-lapse version of the final two years to see it happening. The race is now on to watch it as the ninth drop separates and the tenth begins. A process that is expected to take another 15 years. Number 1. The 500-Year Microbiology Experiment This final experiment hasn't been running for as long as the others so far, but it is planned to continue for a very long time. The 500-Year Microbiology Experiment began in 2014 and is, as the name would suggest, intended to last until 2514. It is by far the longest planned scientific experiment ever created and will look at the survival of microbes and biomolecules over century-long timescales. The experiment has stored 800 glass vials that contain one of two types of microorganisms. Every two years for the first 24 years, six vials, three of each type, will be opened and the microbes will be studied for their viability, particularly looking at the damage that is caused to the DNA structure. Following this first stage, vials will then be opened every 25 years, which means that in 2514, there will be 31 time points of data that have been collected. The experiment was separated into two different boxes, each of which was stored at a different location and contained written and electronic instructions about the steps that need to be taken. Every 25 years when opened, one role for researchers will be to rewrite the instructions to take into account modern equipment and terminology to ensure that by the end, the people of 500 years in the future will be able to understand what this was all about. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye.